Every year for the past 25 years, the Auburn Football Letterman Club has held its annual Celebrity Golf Classic. It's a time to reminisce about memories from their time on the plains. We get to meet old guys, meet new guys, and uh, it's just a tremendous tournament. And we got to thank Tom Bryan for keeping it, putting it together, keeping it together, and this first class operation. Being around people I haven't seen in a little while, um, you can't really beat that. Beautiful day, like we were just talking about, and this is enjoying it as much as possible. There's nothing like coming back and hearing the great stories because they're embellished, you know, more than they, you know, the guys that run a 10 yard touchdown now, it was a 100 yard touchdown as we've gotten older. Hey, there's nothing like this. This is enjoyable for all. Anytime you get to come back, and um, I mean, I love to play golf, so that's, uh, you know, good, and, uh, you know, it's a special. You know, getting to come out back to Auburn and uh, see a bunch of the, you know, the guys that went through the same stuff that you did, and um, you know, it's always a good time to get together. It's a, a, a one of my favorite times of the year, and, and, and a great golf tournament. Saugahatchee does a super job every year, and, and this tournament has been put on uh, and really uh, for so many years. Uh, Tom Bryan, a former teammate of mine, has been responsible for 25 years or close to it, and he has built this up to really just what it is today, which is one of the biggest and most successful golf tournaments that's associated uh, with athletics. Well, a lot of us have run into each other through the years, and uh, it's people that I watched play when I was, uh, you know, eight, nine, ten years old in high school when I was playing high school ball, and he was watching some of them play down here. and. Uh, uh, then you've got some that you've watched after you've got out of out of the ball down here, and uh, and 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 to be able to meet those and, and talk the same language, it's uh, it's it's a hoot. It's a lot of fun. The friends that you make over here, you know, everywhere you go. <laughs> oh, that's a former Auburn quarterback. That's a former. So it just gave you a lot of name recognition, and you know, it's just so nice to be associated with all the good folks over here. It's always a good time. The Letterman's Club has always been really good to me ever since I've got done playing. So just to, uh, you know, kind of come back and, I mean, you can call it in helping out with your time, but it's like, honestly, I mean, it's, it's, I'm just grateful they let me come out here and be a part of this. It's a pretty cool deal. So, you know, I'm thankful they asked me for sure. The former Tigers also look back and remember some of their favorite memories from their time on the gridiron. We played uh, University of Florida my senior year, and they were undefeated. Uh, had a great quarterback tandem and receiving core, and John Reeves and Carlos Alvarez, both All-Americans, and, and they were leading the nation. Uh, and everybody was saying, you know, how in the world will we ever, you know, possibly uh, stop them? And uh, I had an opportunity to be interviewed right before then, and I said, well, it's real simple. I said, when you play against Pat Sullivan and Terry Beasley all week long, I think we can handle them. We intercepted nine passes and beat the stew out of them, and uh, I, they've never forgotten it. Being in Jordan Hare, uh, to me, that's about as best I can sum it up. I, was, I got season tickets now, and I still get chills when the team come running out because I kind of picture myself back in the day and it's just exciting to be there. I got so many favorite ones. I mean, I could stand here all day, but I guess I'm, I'm very blessed that I played on a wonderful football team in 1972. And in that football team, we were picked to win one ball game instead we won 10, and we beat Alabama 17 to 16 with the block kicks. You just gotta be around them to understand what they're talking about. It's some of the stories, and, and uh, most of them are lies, but that's okay too. If they can get away with it, keep telling them. Just the whole 2013 season, uh, you know, just what a wild ride it was after going three and nine and then come back the next year and winning the SEC, uh, it was special. Auburn Football Every Day is presented by The Better Network, Verizon, Better Matters, and by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters. Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. 
guitar coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh no, oh no! Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. America, it's time. Time to break free from the confines of your couch. To tear yourself away from the tyranny of technology. To revolt against a social revolution that's anything but social. It's time to embrace the possibilities right outside your door. It's time to build your declaration of independence. Homecoming, a weekend when Auburn men and women return to the plains to celebrate our school, our traditions, and to cheer on our football team. It's game day, baby. a.m. let's go play. All right? It don't matter who shows up. We are us. We do what we do. Now here's where we are as a football team. We have grown and grown and grown. All right? We've grown. All right? It's time to blossom now. Full speed blossom. Got it? Well, we get the ball first when they get the ball first. The number one thing is to start fast. Hit them in the mouth. All right? Don't worry about the scoreboard. Not only play as hard as we did last week, let's play better than we did last week. Okay? Just throw it and catch it. Let's lock the ball up. Block them, break some tackles, have some fun out there. Okay, there's one way you have fun. You play hard, you play together, and you play well. You play well. That's the whole thing. It's about the brotherhood. Play for one another and play for the AU on side of the other. Let's go out here today, let's have some fun, and let's get after them for 60 minutes and have fun here. Like I said, it's fun to score on people. It's fun to get sacked. It's fun to get a turnover. That's what it's all about. Let's go have some fun today. It's a beautiful day out there. Right, we get ready to walk out that tunnel, man. Listen to that crowd roar. Feel that in your heart. Get your blood pumping. It's about the name on the front of your jersey. It has nothing to do with them. They just threw the bad luck today. That they got to play the Auburn Tigers. Flip the switch when you get out there. If everything doesn't go perfect early, no panic right there. All right, weather any storm, we got to weather. We're going to whip your butt. We're going to get some victory number three. All right. Auburn Football Every Day is presented by 
great southern wood. Yellowwood brand pressure treated pine. If it doesn't have this yellow tag, you don't want it. And by Tiffin Motorhomes, made to move you. I'm Jamie Foxx for Verizon. In the nation's largest independent study by Root Metrics, again, Verizon is the number one network. Hi, I'm Jamie Foxx for Sprint. And I'm Jamie Foxx for T-Mobile. And, and we're, we're just, just as good. good. Really? Only Verizon was ranked number one nationally in data, reliability, text, and call, and speed. Yeah. And you're going to fist pump today? Don't get limited by an unlimited plan. Switch now and get our best deal. 20 gigs of limitless data for just 160 with four lines. All on America's best network. I'm John Merrill. As your Secretary of State, I want to ensure that every eligible U.S. citizen that's a resident of Alabama is registered to vote and has a qualified government-issued photo ID. You can register to vote by downloading our app for your iPhone or your Android, or you can visit alabamavotes.gov. We want you to be registered to vote and have a photo ID. You can make a difference. We'll see you at the polls. An Auburn University education emphasizes hard work, that training becomes wisdom, and that you can only count on what you earn. Auburn graduates believe in honesty, a spirit that is not afraid, and preparedness, because one never knows when cause for celebration will arrive. This is Auburn. Auburn entered the game looking to see improvement from the previous week. The offense focused on establishing the run, which opened up the passing game. And White under center, there's the quick pitch to Truitt. He's at the 35, angles left, 25, and cut down inside the 25. At the 22, maybe the 21 yard line. A nice run in traffic by Stanton Truitt. Sean White rolls out. Looking for the end zone. Now he's going to try and dive for the end zone. He's in! Touchdown, Auburn! Sean White looking to throw. Nothing there. And he lowered his head and got across the goal line for the score. Well, we're starting to figure out kind of who we are. Our young guys are getting experience. We're learning more about them. Uh, they're starting to relax a little bit and play. Starting to get in a rotation, you know, as far as our rotation goes in all positions. and. So I think now we're to a point we can start improving. You know, the run game here at Auburn is incredibly important to the success of our offense. But it starts with our downhill runs, and that sets up all of our play action shots. And, you know, you start getting the extra hat or the extra safety down in the box, and that's when those, those home run shots come open. So, but it starts with us being able to run the football. I mean, that's what we do. That's our offense. That's what, uh, that's what our foundation is built on is running the football. And, Anytime you rush for, I think, 400 something yards against anybody is, is a really good number to put up. Sean White connected with freshman Kyle Davis to give the Tigers a 14 0 lead. Sean White drops back deep downfield. Kyle Davis wide open. 10 5 in. Touchdown! can't get more wide open. I was about to say, Ry, I think you could have thrown that one right there. Great execution right there. Nice play call. Play action fake on the Statue of Liberty. And Kyle Davis wearing number 86 today, right down the middle, uncovered. The touchdown reception was Davis's first in college and was set up by the running of Carry On Johnson. Oh, it was like amazing. I was the first one to celebrate with Kyle down there. They're like our little brothers, basically. Defensively, the Tigers focused on creating turnovers. 
Coach still emphasizes every week that we need to continue to get better and uh, just raise our level of standards. And uh, that's what we do. We go out there each and every practice and go hard for him. So I feel like we'll keep on improving. I mean, we try to make that our main thing every time we step out there. We try to get like one or two turnovers a game and you know. You know Coach Till was really talking to our defense about turnovers. You know, we got those two and probably the biggest one was right after the offense turned the ball over. The defense got it back the next next play and that was one of the key plays in the game early. Sophomore Montavious Atkinson had a standout performance, recording a career-high five tackles. Uh, it felt pretty good, man. You know, for the first time, it felt pretty good, you know, being able to hear the crowd and, you know, the teammates uh, hyping me up and stuff like that. Always positive, and he has a coach-me-coach coach attitude, and he's, he's great for this university. He's great for this team. The kids love him, and, um, I mean, he's getting better and better. You know, he's a, he's a kid that's, that has a really good skill set, and, Everything is starting to slow down for him, and football is important to him. Well, I've been a defensive guy all my life, and I just love defense, man. I just love to hit people. And it's just fun playing with these guys, because they all fly to the ball. He's a physical, fast linebacker, so he kind of has a, the body of a safety, but, you know, he's physical like a linebacker. So, I mean, it's great to have players like that around. Tackle made as well by Montavious Atkinson. I'm not sure they gained anything there. At the break, Auburn held a dominant 28-7 lead. Auburn Football Every Day is presented by The Better Network, Verizon, Better Matters, and by Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters. At Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama, we're as passionate about your health as you are about Auburn football. I'm sure the card's moving. It is so exciting. I could talk forever. Count until I drop. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, I love counting. Get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2016 Toyota RAV4. Toyota, let's go places. An Auburn University education emphasizes hard work. That training becomes wisdom. And that you can only count on what you earn. Auburn graduates believe in honesty, a spirit that is not afraid, and preparedness. Because one never knows when cause for celebration will arrive. This is Auburn. Auburn's 28-7 halftime lead allow the Tigers to get a look at some new and young players in the second half. Franklin's going to go deep. He has a man. Hey, Craig Myers in the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. John Franklin the third. You said, well, let's see if they let him air it out a little bit. He just did for a touchdown. Well, that's the second game we've been able to do that. That does nothing but help your depth moving forward. We found out a lot about the guys. I thought we executed pretty well. Our twos did once they got in the game, and uh, you know that's a really good thing moving forward. Oh, it's huge! It's huge. It pays dividends down the road. It's good for your program because they're going through the same workouts. Our guys, you know, the guys that are on scholarship, that you know, they're going through the same workouts, and 
You know, they come out here every, every day and they give us great looks and it's always good to reward them on special teams or on defense. Because at the end of the day, you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's good for team camaraderie, you know. It's always good to see those guys out there, you know, being, being able to, to contribute and the, the family may be in the stands. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome. In the closing minutes of the game, walk-on Gary Walker entered the game with Louisiana Monroe backed up on their own goal line. 37 seconds to go in the football game, and the snap is dropped by Smith in the pin zone. He picks it up. He's tackled. It's a safety. Oh, it's a safety. Gary Walker. Gary Walker. My heart stopped. Uh, to be honest with you, Mike. As soon as I saw the ball on the ground, I saw him reach to pick it up. I knew I had to take the quarterback. You no, know, the ball would have popped out. Somebody else would have picked it up. Great, but I had to take the quarterback. That made my night, man. That made my night just to watch him and watch the guys on the sideline that was happy for him and watch his watch his uh, reaction to it of his his excitement and the guys on the field as excited. You know, a lot of times, them guys work so hard. Gary, if you if you ask to the man, ask who who was probably one of the hardest workers on his team, Gary Walker, you know, and, and all of our guys work hard, but that kid comes every day. He works hard, does, he doesn't complain, and he's just tough, hard nose. So it was really good seeing him, it's really good seeing him make that play. It was, uh, it was absolutely, it was a great experience to get out there and get some playing time, you know, especially, you know, going up against starting offensive linemen. I felt like I really fit along, you know, with their starters and how the well they played the game. Well, Gary's, uh, first of all, he's a fine young man. He's one of the, uh, the team leaders, you know, he just one of the team favorites and he made a really good play and you, you'd see the reaction of our players and our coaches just for the respect we have for him. We're family, you know, and that's why I try to make these guys understand every day is that if they send us out there together, it's a family thing. We play together as a family, so we play hard because we play for one another. Being on scout team, you know, against starters, you play hard together so that you can give a good look to the starters. So we go out there against, you know, people that we don't know, we're going to play harder than what we play. Very fun, man, just because those guys, we see them in practice and they don't really get too much attention, they don't really play that much, but, you know, we were fortunate to, to stop, the, stop the other team a couple times and got those guys in and it was just amazing feeling for him to go out there and, you know, have fun and, you know, get, get his chance to shine. The, the part that I loved the most about it was my teammates meeting me before I even got to the sideline. You know, all the smiles, the hugs, and the handshakes and stuff. You'll never, you'll never get another moment like that. Walker's safety put the final points on the board in Auburn's 58-7 victory. Great job. That's a great job of putting away a team right there. We talked about getting better in all three phases. I think we did. Very proud of you guys right there. We're in a great spot. All right, we're in a great spot going into Mississippi State. I want you to enjoy this. How are we going? Like no, I'm going to tell you, here's what happened. We had, the, we had the emotional win against a good LSU team. We played good in all three phases. So I'm very proud of you. We're in a great spot moving forward on that. Coach Travis Williams, where you at? One, two, one, two, three, four. Auburn Football Every Day is presented by Great Southern Wood, Yellowwood brand pressure treated pine. If it doesn't have this yellow tag, you don't want it. And by Tiffin Motorhomes, made to move you. When you bring the indoors outdoors, there are no rules. Good or better? The Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry? No. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry? No again. 
and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. I'm John Merrill. As your Secretary of State, I want to ensure that every eligible U.S. citizen that's a resident of Alabama is registered to vote and has a qualified government-issued photo ID. You can register to vote by downloading our app for your iPhone or your Android, or you can visit alabamavotes.gov. We want you to be registered to vote and have a photo ID. You can make a difference. We'll see you at the polls. Americans don't celebrate the Good Enough Canyon. We didn't aim to be second to the moon. Verizon doesn't settle for good enough either. So now we are introducing Verizon LTE Advanced. With 50% faster peak speeds in more than 450 cities coast to coast. So don't settle for an unlimited plan with limits. Switch now and get our best deal. 20 gigs of limitless data with four lines for only $160. Welcome to the next gen network. It's time now for the Yellowwood Lineman of the Week. Brought to you by Yellowwood Brand Pressure Treated Pine. If it doesn't have that yellow tag, you don't want it. This week's Lineman of the Week is Darius James. The Colleen, Texas native made his first start for the Tigers at left tackle. In Auburn's 58-7 win over Louisiana Monroe, James helped the Tiger offense put up 688 total yards of offense. Darius James, your Lineman of the Week. Auburn hits the road for the first time this season. The Tigers play Mississippi State Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time in Starkville. The thing I know about Mississippi State's defense is, is like most SEC defenses, they're a physical group. Uh, they're going to play extremely hard. Um, you know, we're going to be on the road for the first time. Uh, but they're, you know, they're, they're going to be big, fast, strong, physical. And they're going to play really hard like most of the defenses in our, like all the defenses in our league. Really good, really big up front. You know, the offensive line is really big and, you know, really talented. And, and, and every year, year in and year out, they, they're, they're, really, they're really good up front and really big up front. The quarterback is a really good player and they have a running back that's a smaller running back. But he's a really, really good player. You know, we got to just come prepared and be ready to play. Be a big communication um, you know, game for us, too. They're very good against the run offensively. That'll be a big factor, being able to run the football effectively. And defensively, we've got to stop the quarterback. You know, he's their leading rusher. Uh, he's a very good runner within his own right, and that's where it starts. Auburn Football Every Day is produced by War Eagle Productions in association with Auburn Sports Properties. 